Relation between human brain and fingerprints Since 1823, scientists have discovered that fingerprints and innate intelligence are related. Medical science has already confirmed that during the growth of the fetus within the mother's womb from the 13th-19th week, fingerprints and formed simultaneously with the development of the neocortex. From there on along with many other researches, scientists established a correlation between fingerprints and brain. American doctors discovered a strange case where the baby is born without no brain. In this case, the absence of brain is associated with the absence of fingerprints as well. Cases like this repeated throughout history, leading medical experts to believe that the brain is absolutely linked to the fingerprints. Neurobiologists point out that our fingerprints development are synchronized with that of the neocortex. For example, children with Down syndrome have their fingerprints with distinguishable characteristics. Canadian neurology professor Penfield published the chart between brain regions and bodily functions. In the chart, the relationship between fingerprints and the brain is also pointed out. Japanese medical expert professor pointed out that the fingers are closely related to the brain hemisphere. Therefore, this has been widely used in many fields. Human brain is divided into two hemispheres, the left, the right. From the front to the back of the head, there are five clearly defined loops in both the hemispheres which corresponding to five finger. Are you a left-brained or a right-brained person? Right hand reflects the left brain which controls knowledge, reasoning and thinking. R1, prefrontal lobe, ability to manage oneself. Reasoning and self-control. R2, frontal lobe, logical reasoning, the ability to manage numbers. R3, parietal lobe, ability to control fine motor. R4, temporal lobe, language ability. R5, occipital lobe, observation reading and comprehension ability left hand reflects the right brain which is responsible for self-control and subconscious l1 prefrontal lobe creatively interpersonal and leadership skills l2 frontal lobe artistic concepts l3 parietal lobe ability to control gross motor l4 temporal lobe the ability to process and appreciate music L5, occipital lobe, the ability to determine abstract patterns and visual sense. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.